Hello Pisces. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2020 reading for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. It's so much fun for me to see new subscribers. I love your comments. I appreciate the likes and the sharing of my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that bell notification and you'll be notified when I have new videos coming up. So I recently posted a video uh, about um, your 2020 tarot predictions for the year of 2020. So if you want to see the year ahead, um, now's the time to do it. And I also have a, a couple weeks ago posted a video of the entire Rider Waite deck um, in depth, all 78 cards explained. So if you're interested in that, that would also be something that might help you as you watch tarot and learn to interpret it and on your own and apply it to your life. So how in the world are you? I hope that you are off to a good start here and that you took the time to set your intentions for the year ahead. Know that you can have, be, or do anything. You can have, be, or do anything. You just have to be clear about what it is that you want, quiet your mind, and know that the universe wants to deliver things to you. So you just be very clear in your intentions. And, you know, we try to eliminate all that noisy stuff we can have going on in our heads because that will slow the universe down from bringing it to you. So here we go for Pisces, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2020 for Pisces. Now, I have to tell you, I sometimes have find, found when I've done a lot of videos together that I am here and there calling a card the wrong card, but I'm reading it correctly. So I'll like say the Ten of Cups, but it's actually the Ten of Pentacles. I apologize. I don't know why I've been doing that lately, but I don't know if it's just because when you're recording, you don't have anyone in front of you to give you feedback, like look at the card or look at you or you just keep going. So I do apologize if I do that at all. But like I said, I found I've interpreted the card correctly, so it's not really doing much to the reading. Um, so we're going to get the ball rolling here with an Abraham Hicks card. These are asking it as given cards created by Esther and Jerry Hicks using the teachings of Abraham, which are the teachings of the law of attraction. So people who talk about manifesting and then they kind of poo-poo that, I don't know what they think they're using to manifest. I mean, there's many universal laws and principles, yes, but the, the main law supporting or um, guiding manifestation is the law of attraction. So, and there's much research in terms of measuring thoughts and neurons and knowing that neurons fire together and then they wire together. So like attracts like. So as you're thinking and feeling a certain vibration, more will be attracted to you to match that vibration. So I will love where I am right now. There is nothing that you cannot be, do, or have, and we want to assist you in achieving that. But we love where you are right now, even if you do not, because we understand how joyful the journey to where you want to go will be. So the joy is in the journey, Pisces. And I know sometimes that's annoying, but the joy is in the journey. So your current situation is the Seven of Swords. Well, I'm glad that's the current situation and not the outcome. Then you've got the Seven of um, Wands here. You've got the Fool, and this is, I love this, because I just I haven't seen the Fool come out in a long time, and I just love to see that, especially in that position, because that's your goal or your destiny. Behind you in the distant past is the Two of Cups. You've got the Queen of Pentacles as a more recent past, then you have the Ace of Pentacles, so nice big offer coming in. The Ten of Pentacles is you. Um, the Moon is the people around you, but this is also Pisces energy. Then you've got the Ten of Cups. You've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Then you have the Hierophant in the outcome position. So very interesting reading for you guys. Um, so the heart of the matter, somebody was betrayed somebody here, whether it was you betraying them or you were betrayed. You know, the Seven of Swords sneaks away like a thief in the night. And this is generally 
somebody who can't be trusted or shouldn't be trusted. Um, this card, because it is a, a seven, it can be a minor setback, but I do think you need to be careful about some kind of a loss of power or, you know, um, protect yourself, protect your ideas, protect your dreams, things like that. So if you've set your intentions, don't go advertising it to everybody because there may be people um, who are going to be naysayers and just bring you down. Then you have the seven of wands. And this is also about, you know, like navigating obstacles and barriers and not giving up on a situation. So you may have something where somebody was dishonest, but you're having a hard, very hard time letting go of them, even though they did double cross you. So the destiny here, this is you on your journey. And you are, you know, you're, you're the fool, meaning this is your soul's journey. And it's a fresh, new, clean energy. You know, you need to know that the soul is always victorious. So your destiny will be victory. Um, it's unlimited potential. So zero, the number zero is unlimited potential. And you are a child of the divine. It's all about like new beginnings and enthusiasm. And I feel like overall, that's what your heart desires. You want a new beginning. And again, this very well may be with a relationship. Um, the more I look at these cards, you've got quite a bit of earth energy, but you've got Pisces, you've got um, you've got cups in here, so you've got water. Um, you do have, I think I said earth, you've got just the one air and some fire, but I definitely am starting to see this more and more um, as some kind of a relationship that took a bit of a hit here so in the distant past I think you were quite close like you felt like each other you were best friends you know I really do I think you too said I I've got your back you're my best friend and somebody here did something that was not principled um, you've had a lot of great support around you very good guidance around you people loving you nurturing you validating you um, and I, it's going to continue because in January, you are going to get a big offer. I, th I think this person is going to come forward with an amend. They're going to come forward with a clean slate. Um, they want to reconcile with you. They want to be on better ground with you, whether it ends up coming back around as, um, I actually think it will come back around as a long-term stable relationship. But this is, I love this card. I mean, this is all about... Again, it's almost like the fool in companion with this about fresh, clean, new energy. And I think it's going to be a second chance at something. And this is you. And so this is about <clears throat> wealth and harmony for all. This is the wealth card. And I think that you are going to feel abundant and just feel like you're just absolutely on top of the world with this. Um, it's going to be a very good relationship for you. I think that there was a mistake that was made, and it was major. And um, somebody just got away from who they are. You know, whether they knew, thought they knew who they were or not, they definitely separated from doing the next right thing and made a m major... I mean, they did a lot of damage in this. And so when they come back around, though, there's going to be stability. Um... Now this represents, could be another Pisces you're dealing with, um, but it's also about, I feel like there's been some hidden feelings there, like almost like you tried to separate and go your separate ways and act like you didn't really care, but underneath it all, it was devastating and there was a lot of heartache and you have missed your best friend and they have missed you. And um, so I think the moon here, set your intentions, you know, when we get the next full moon, coming up in a couple weeks set your intentions and what I also want you to do is look at the things about that person that you really enjoy because if you look at the things you don't like that's who's going to keep showing up because it has to because that's your vibrational indicator so you need to sit down and even on a piece of paper write down all the things that that relationship brought you the security of feeling like you had your best friend 
the fun that you had, things like that. Um, so your your hopes here, your emotional, um, underneath it all, your underlying emotions are to have the security. It's a 10 again, so we've got the conclusion of a cycle of I think being single and being kind of missing this person is gonna be coming to an end. You want to go back to build a life with this person um, and be in a stable, long-term commitment. Um, this is a great card too to have, especially in that position, because you know you know you know what it is that you want, and it's definitely a love that is secure and abundant and harmonious. You know, look at all the people dancing and kind of dosy doing their partners, right? Um, you know, it's it's it can be somewhat subjective, but this is all about like purity and happiness and just bountiful blessings. So I do think this relationship is going to be blessed. Whatever it was that happened, you can reconcile and recover and repair the relationship. Okay, you can. You can repair the relationship. And with the Hierophant, again, this is about spirituality. This is about, um, you know, marriage. This is a marriage card. He's an efficient at a wedding. So I think if it was um, a possibly a marriage that there was a divorce you could be reconciling but it also could be if you've been separated you'll come back around and and I there's a very good chance you'll get married not in January um, I think an engagement could happen maybe in June um, possibly May and then it would be maybe a, a, a marriage in 2021 so for some of you um, this is going to be a major reconciliation for you that's going to be beginning. Okay, the the first offer is here. Okay, the first offer is there, and then from there we build. And you cannot get a much better looking few cards than this. So very good beginning of the year here for you guys, Pisces. And I love you, and I appreciate you tuning in. And I'll see you again in a couple weeks.